Hey there! In today's Suno AI tutorial, we're going to talk about sharing files and uploading audio so that you know how to get files back and forth easily without wasting time or credits. I'm in my account, go to my Create screen, and here is the song that I'm going to share. Let me go ahead and hit it for a second. Yep, that's the song I want to share. So let's go over to this right hand side where the three dots are, go to share, and there's a few different options. You can copy the link, you can copy the link at a specific start time, or you can choose different ways to share the link. You can go through social media, email, copy the link, or specify that you want it to start sharing at a particular time. For my purposes, I just want to copy the link. Okay, so now it's in my clipboard. Now I'll put on my collaborator hat and hop into the other account. Okay, so now I'm the collaborator. I have a free account just for demonstration purposes to show you that this works even if you don't have a pro account. So let me go to my Suno account and I'm logged in. So I go to my browser bar and I paste in the link and it will bring the song up. Super easy, right? I click on the three dots and go to remix. All right, so now I have the song showing up in my workspace. It's good to put it in its own folder so that you keep it organized. I'll go to the top right, click new workspace and put in the title and then click create workspace. So now when I work on this file, it's going to save to this workspace without having to worry about it. So all I'm going to do is leave everything exactly the same. All right. And click remix. After a minute, the song will show up in my files. And if we listen, it's going to be pretty much a carbon copy. There might be slight tonal changes and we'll work on those as the collaboration goes on. Okay, that's the right tone. It didn't change anything. Let's check the other one. They sound just like the original. So now you know how to use a share link to get a song from one account to the other. But what if they sent you the file instead of a link? Well, you would just go to custom and click audio and then hit upload. You would pick your file and hit save. It takes a few minutes, but once it's uploading, you can click save to library and then continue. If you look at my credits, you'll see it doesn't use any credits to bring an uploaded file into your library. Okay. You see the song show up at the top of your workspace. If you go over to the three dots on the right hand side, plenty of functions to continue working on the song show up right away. So we're going to talk about those functions in the next tutorial. You should see the link right about now. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and I'll see you in the next one.